When I'm not gene splicing to similar organisms or reverse engineering crashed alien technology, my real passion is discussing tension control. My name, Dr. Timothy P. Winder, and you're watching Tension Time. Welcome to Tension Time. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Timothy P. Winder. In this brief lesson, we'll discuss the main components of tension control, including tension controllers, load cells, and torque devices. Tension transducers, also referred to as load cells, are force sensing devices that can be used to measure tension. After calibration, load cells output a reliable proportional tension reference signal. Reference signal. Yes. You can't stop the signal, Mal. Load cell signals are input into a tension controller to enable closed loop tension control. A tension controller can be acquired as a standalone device, such as a study web series manufactured by DFE, or programmed into a logic controller by a qualified controls engineer. Logic is good. Yes. Yes, it is, Mal. During operation, a tension controller uses the feedback signal from the load cells to adjust the torque device and maintain a desired tension set point. If the tension reference signal from the load cell is too low, the controller will automatically increase torque output to compensate and increase tension. If the tension is too high, the controller reduces torque to achieve the desired set point. Common torque devices include brakes, clutches, and motor drives. Depending on the type of device being used, torque output is affected by controlling the amount of air pressure or electrical signal entering the device. To learn which torque device is best suited for a specific tension control zone, click here for the next video in this series. Clicking is good.